Hey guys, out in Piper with Dog Piper. <laughs> Woo! So, you guys ever come down to Kentucky in the middle of July? We got a thing called a natural sauna. It's called weather. Kicks my booty every time. But, we finished the hike, did good, had fun. Now it's time to go smoke a pipe. Come with us. I mean, if you're gonna smoke velvet for a month, you might as well have the coffee mug to go with it, right? So, uh, been watching uh, some uh, maritime. Yeah, some maritime uh, history uh, videos lately. Oh, we're using uh, this little uh, merchant service pipe tobacco roll. Anyway, um, as a kid, I was always fascinated with shipwrecks and all that. And um, I'll, I'll tell this story again if you guys are new to my channel, which I appreciate all my new subscribers. And if you're coming across this and you're uh, just watching it, please hit like and subscribe. Help support us and uh, we appreciate it. But uh, pallet in here and boats don't necessarily get along, even though I am very fascinated by them. And maybe because I studied all these shipwrecks and therefore, you know, I probably don't like them. Or it could be the large amount of nausea that uh, sailing and things like that give me. <laughs> mm. Always a breeze every time I try to light. She always out back up. Good old Saint Christopher. But um My family history with boats starts with my uncle. Who restored Chris Craft Cabin Cruisers. He's 86 today. Not today, but 86 now. Um, doesn't restore him anymore. His last one, uh, unfortunately, got damaged in a hail storm, an ice storm, maybe uh, 10 years ago or so. Uh, he had it docked up in Cincinnati. But anyway, when I was a kid, We'd go out on the Ohio River on my uncle's Chris Craft cabin cruisers. And I never got sick when I was a kid. Matter of fact, I had fun. My dad, I know, he wanted to own a boat for a while and never did. Uh, but uh, anyway, a little tobacco bits in my mouth. Um, on my wife and I's five year anniversary we go to the Virgin Islands I thought I wanted to do something really special for her you know and uh, we were down there for a week and I booked a uh, middle of the week sailboat trip now old Paladin had never been on a sailboat Neither did Mrs. Paladin at that point in time.
but I thought it'd be romantic, you know? Excuse me. And we get up to the dock, and there's this kid that's, I'm bad with ages, and I'll talk about that in a second with the new video channel I'm watching, but anyway, um, hey, kid looked like he was 16. And he's like, oh man, this is my boat, man. You guys, you guys ready to sail? And we're like, yeah, okay, you know. <sighs> like, you sure you're uh, of legal age to pilot this thing? Oh man, you're gonna love this. It's my boat, I'm like, this is your parents' boat. But anyway, so we got on there. And we're uh, trolling out of the marina. And he yells to some dude that I didn't know was there in the in the hall, I guess, or whatever. And he comes up, flips the sails up, and that sucker turns on its side and goes like this. And then yees and yaws and pitches and everything. And all about 20 minutes of that. And I'm feeding the fish with my stomach contents that I had had yesterday or the previous day. So I said, I can't do this, man. You got to pull over. So anyway, he's like, oh man, well, all the beaches in the Virgin Islands are public property, but you know, there's this little island called Little St. James up here and we can pull up there. Alright. So he takes me to, on this little dinghy, you know, he takes me in on to the uh, beach area of this island, Little St. James, uh, and I commence throwing up more and pass out against a tree. Um, if you guys have followed any news of in the last 10 years, you know Little St. James is Jeffrey Epstein's, well, was Jeffrey Epstein's island. And oh yeah, the gold dome and the sex swings, all that was there. Because I asked the guy about it. I'm like, Whose island is this? Why is this stuff there? Because I didn't read any of that stuff. I'm not a big news watcher, never have been. Um, you guys are lucky I watch YouTube, but anyway. Uh, and he told me, he's like, this is Jeffrey Epstein's island. He's crazy. <laughs> he has wild parties. I'm like, oh yeah, okay. So anyway, ever since that, I get massive. Massive seasickness, air sickness, whatever. Basically, my vestibular system's all screwed. So, anywho. Velvet may be done. I got a little bit left. Anywho. But, nevertheless, shipwrecks and things have still intrigued me. So I found this guy's channel, Historic Travels. So I'll put a link to his videos or his channel down in the, the description. Uh, young kid. Now that's just, he's probably in his 30s maybe. Probably not much younger than me. If he's in his late 30s, then he looks very young for his late 30s. I would say he looks more like early 20s. <laughs> but I'm not good with that stuff. But anyway, he, he breaks down all these different ship disasters from the Titanic, Lusitania, Edmunds Fitzgerald, all that stuff. So I've been kind of binge watching him. Um, and um, just, I mean, marveling at how many shipwrecks have happened. You know, Wilhelm Gustav, which kind of was lost to history, um, but actually was probably the worst shipwreck in history, which a lot of people have never heard of, um, as I drop my lighter. Um, you know, the Britannic, all of the White Star Line, I mean, you know, you, you start seeing stuff on the White Star Line, after a while you're like, either these guys were cursed, or there was a plot to basically just try and kill a bunch of people. Then the other weird thing is there was some gal who was a nurse and I can't think of her name right now for the life of me. 
she was on the Titanic, the Britannic, and the Olympic, I think. Survived all three. The Olympic never sank, but the, the Britannic and the Titanic, I feel, like she was, I feel like she was on another one that sank. Mary, uh, it's not typhoid Mary, but anyway, it was something like that. She was a, an immigrant nurse and uh, she had evaded death on these ships. It was really weird. So anyway, I've been kind of watching that. Um, that was about done. May have another bowl. Um, but anyway, uh, pipe has been holding up pretty well. Um, yeah, hasn't, hasn't been bad at all. There's no burnouts, you know. Now the wood is darkening a little bit, but I mean, I was smoking this pipe pretty frequently before the Codger Challenge. Hope you guys enjoyed a little bit of the hiking footage in the beginning, and um, we'll come back to you with more fun stuff. Um, also hope you like the Nostalgia series. I did on Velvet, I'll probably do Granger, and I'll probably do all the classics. Um, I picked up some model uh, vintage tobacco that <laughs> Christoph's trying to date for me. Um, and uh, we'll probably try that on camera too. So, all right, guys. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me, and we'll see you again.